Hello and welcome back to another video and in this week's video we have got some honeypot ants as you've seen by the title thumbnail. These honeypot ants are from Ants HQ and I can't wait to have a look at these honeypot ants. So when we ordered these honeypot ants from Ants HQ it said they had brood and a single queen. So no workers yet but that means it's more fun for, for us watching them grow nice and big. If you watch all the way to the end of the video you'll see us turn our queen ants green. And it is so cool, and it's going to be so cool when our queens have repletes when they're older. And if you don't know what repletes are, we'll get into that a bit later on and tell you everything you need to know about honeypot ants if you're looking to buy them yourself or if you're just very curious about this specimen. So let's get back straight into the unboxing. And as you can see, when I finally opened the box, we had a cool Ant HQ card, and I thought it was really cool, and I think it's a really nice touch to all their packaging. So let's get this out of the way and let's get into the box. So as you can see it looks well wrapped. When it came I couldn't believe how big the box was but to be fair for £135 for a clean ant it best be shit well. Let's put the box aside for now and let's get into this well packaged box. So I cut open the bubble wrap and what I first saw was a little test tube as you can see now. We wanted these ants for so long so we're super happy to get them and we're going to have so many videos on them in the future. So stay tuned for all our awesome videos coming. So here is the test tube that I was on about earlier on and let me just take the tape off because this is really well packaged. I was I was thinking about myself when I ordered it. For £135 this needs to be in a, in a literal blanket and it is. It is amazingly packaged so well done for Ants HQ for this. They've definitely, definitely put some time and effort into it. But as you can see here, there is a test tube and bung setups with a bit of sand because they recommended, because if you look on their website and go in the description of the ants, they recommend them move them over to a bung setup because the humidity is better. We are in to the polystyrene box and there is more bubble wrap. <laughs> so finally, let's put that to a side and let's have a close look at these ants. Let's get this queen out and let's have a look. I've never seen one of these queens in person, so I'm super excited. And wow, there she is. What an absolute beautiful queen. I don't think there's actually any other species that I could say the queen look more beautiful than these. I can't wait to see a full of some of our nectar that we've been working on in the background. As I've mentioned in a previous video, that will be out very soon on our website. Here you can have an awesome look at it and you can see all the larvae and two broods she has. These broods look like they're literally a week off hatching so fingers crossed these could be hatching in the next video so stay tuned for the next update on these honey ants. But you can see her carrying one of her brood here just to keep them all safe because she's just been in a dark environment for ages and now she's in quite a bright environment. But this queen is absolutely beautiful. So if you don't know what these ants are and you haven't heard of them before you just clicked on this video because it seems interesting and you're thinking why has he paid £135 for a queen ant and I will tell you why now. Some people it still won't be worth £135 but definitely for me I can't wait for this to happen. So when this queen has about 10 workers they will start to be collecting food in the bellies. They collect that much food in the abdomen at the back it expands to about the size of a two pound coin when the colony is nice and big and they'll have loads of these repletes in a big colony and they'll hang from the ceiling all different colours if you feed them different colour nectar which we are coming out with very soon different colour nectar so stay tuned for that so they will look awesome when they're nice and big colony so next i put my queen into a dark warm space for her to rest for a few days and then I checked up in her and about 2 or 3 days later and she was still happy feeding a lot of it but I texted a few people from Ants HQ and they were very supportive, they were big help so if you ever do get any ants from there just to give them a text on the live chat and I'm, I'm sure they'll definitely help you out but the helps us out loads telling us what we need to do next uh, so he recommended to feed us some sugar water, honey water to, or a type of nectar so that is what we did so at first I just opened up the test tube, gently moved some of the sand out of the way just so I could put some nectar in and I just put literally a blob of nectar in the test tube 
and then I just pushed it down a bit and then I realized this was not going to work very easily <laughs> so when I put the, uh, the cotton back in it just absorbed all of the nectar and didn't work very well so I put a bit more in to hope, hope that it would keep it in this time and the queen was not very happy with me in a test tube so I just put a little blob in step back put the cotton on and try to put the cotton mark as close in as I can and then I realized it is just going to absorb it all so I tried to push it in more with my pet and it was not working so I thought of a better idea so we'll get onto the better idea in a minute but I stuck with this one for now because there was a lot of blob in there and at first she was very panicked but then she went to it and started drinking it and she seemed to like it but she backed off because it's all new to her but then she eventually came back over had another little nibble and straight away you could start to see her belly getting bigger and it was really cool but stay tuned to see her gasta full size of this nectar later on so when she finished off that little drop of nectar I came up with my better idea so I made a little dish for her so when she finished all the nectar as you can see here it's basically gone I made her a little dish like that as you can see and I put it in the test tube and here is a time lapse of her drinking it at first she didn't seem too fussed in but then when she started drinking it you can just see her gaster expanding rapidly and I couldn't believe it and I couldn't believe how cool it is and I can't wait for our repletes to be doing this when they're bigger so when our repletes, our repletes what I mentioned earlier will be doing the exact same thing what the queen is doing now just drinking loads and loads of nectar to get nice and fat but yeah she absolutely loved it and by the end of it she was huge as you can see now but I did take it out and that would be enough for her for a while now but then I had to do the hardest thing that I've had to do yet with this queen I had to put her away for a few days let her settle in with the food and let her feed all of her growing lava I'll just play this time lapse again of this queen eating all of her nectar but yeah this nectar we are working on in the background and it should be out on our website in a few weeks and we're going to have a few more options and this flavour that she has here is our green pear flavour and she absolutely loved it. So stay tuned for that on our website. If you haven't checked out our website already go check it out in the link in our description. It's got loads of cool stuff on it now and we're coming out with loads more stuff very very soon. But thanks for watching this week's video. I hope you've enjoyed and stay tuned for more Honeypot Queen updates.